I am a citizen who is highly concerned about climate change. You may have heard me on CBC Radio <laughs> a few times. I'm constantly on there. But I'm also very hopeful at the same time. We are at a crossroads. This is it. So we will either go down a path and make a better world because of the climate crisis, or we're in big trouble. This is it now, right now, this moment in time. So how well is Canada doing at cutting emissions? You may have heard the Auditor General's report in March that we're not meeting our targets in Ontario as well as in Canada. That's the bad news. But the good news is if we fulfill everything in the pan-Canadian framework on clean growth and climate change, we will exceed our Paris targets. Yeah. Um, the, um, and central to that is carbon pricing, but also transportation. But my area of expertise actually is carbon pricing, so I would just like to take a little side track on carbon pricing and bring it back around to rail. Uh, carbon pricing is the economically most efficient way to cut emissions. We can either regulate and have the taxpayer pay for the boots on the ground, or we can price carbon predictably and let the market, take its, make its, take, let the market do its work. Um, carbon pricing will incentivize people to take the rail. When they know they're going to be t paying a price to, you know, to drive their car and rail looks cheaper, they will be more likely to take rail. It's, it, it will change our behaviors. We just need to be given the opportunity to take that rail. I'm really hoping we get this rail line. Um, just again on carbon pricing, you may have heard some politicians and political parties saying they're going to axe the tax, the federal government's tax. Under the Constitution, according, according to a Manitoba, uh, an, a University of Manitoba endowed chair, Brian Swartz, in, the, in their law department, they cannot ax the tax. The government has the right to impose a tax on the province. All right, so it cannot be axed. Um, I'd like to uh, leave you with a little bit of a personal story why I'm standing here today, why I drove 300 kilometers, when I would have preferred to take the rail, um, <laughs> to get here today. Um, it's, it's personal why I'm here as well. Most of my family had to move back to southern Ontario. And my father, when I was growing up, would say, Ottawa and Toronto never listened to the north. Ottawa and Toronto never listened to the north. And then when I got up here and I saw the rail start to be cut. I was like, wow, they don't listen, but we can help. And so I'm here today to talk about, you know, why, to help uh, lend myself to this. Personal story. I'm driving home at Christmas time. Most of my family, my daughter, my 21-year-old daughter, my 105-year-old grandmother, my 85-year-old mother, they live in Niagara Falls. I'm driving home at Christmas. Looks like it's going to be clear you know, all the way from Niagara to Sudbury, and we get caught in a surprise snow bomb on Highway 69. And I'm white knuckling it for four hours with my daughter in the car. And I get home to my husband and I say, I'm never driving that again. And for the first time ever, I did not see my family between Christmas and Easter. I'm not getting any younger. My, my husband and I will be retiring in the next five years are semi-retiring, and if there's no rail to connect me back to my sister, hopefully my mother, oh, my grandmother's alive at 110, that'll be a celebration, um, <laughs> um, I'll probably leave. Yeah, a lot of people will. So in conclusion, I support this rail line for many reasons. It will cut emissions. It should be part of what Ontario and Canada is doing. We need this rail line back up here in the north. It's a safety issue. You know, we're not getting any younger, some of us, well, all of us. <laughs> it will retain people in the north. 
I think it's a really important reconciliation tool as well. It'll connect us all together. I believe we can build a better world because of the climate crisis. And I thank all of you for supporting RAIL and for bringing this to the attention of the people and for building political will. I'm here to help. Thank you very much.